mate of mine, right? He always fancied going to Australia. And finally, last year, he went out there. I think he had family out there. Did he have family out there? Don't matter, anyway. He's gone out there. <laughs> and while he's out there, he's fancied doing himself the old David Attenborough run. You know what I mean? Straight across the desert. So what he's done, he's bought one of those dirty great big land cruisers. You know the type I mean? Six wheels on it and radar and all that and roof racks. And uh, he stops out with food and he's bought a lovely little fridge and he's filled up with cold beer and off he's gone. A day into the desert, What's happened? The fridge has broken down, hasn't it? <laughs> All his beer's getting warm. Nightmare! What's he gonna do? <laughs> anyway, by the side of the road there, he sees his Aussie fella. You know the type, bushwhacker type, corks round his out and all that. And he's talking to the Aussie and he tells him what's happened. Now, Australians, beer to them, it's like religion, isn't it? And this Aussie's gone, I can't do the accent, he's gone, I, I tell you, man, I can make you a beer cold, man. <laughs> I can make your beer nice and cold all over again, man, right? <laughs> and he's dug a hole about a foot deep like that, and he's got one of the warm tins of beer, and he's put it in a hole. And then he's covered it up with sand. And my mate's thinking, what the bloody hell is this man doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he's put petrol all over the top of the hole. No, I'll tell you a lie there. He's put water on it first, then he's put petrol on it. Stand back, he's gone. Match. Woof! Like that. Anyway. Flames have died down, he's dug down there, he's took out a tin of beer, he's gone to my mate, feel that. And was it cold? Was it 